once again, good friends, welcome new subscribers. Probably tired of seeing my ugly mug this week, but I'm working hard to get through these video requests. And speaking of the requests, one of them was to take a look at the new finish. This is the Rapid Shine, and on here it has spray polish, and that's what has some of us out there confused. I'm going to take care of that uh, today. We're, we're going to take a close look at the product. And uh, without wasting any more time, let's get to it. New Finish Rapid Shine. 15 ounces for $7 and change. You can grab it anywhere locally, really, a parts store, hardware stores, uh, besides ordering it. It does have spray polish on the bottle. I believe they were really leaning towards spray wax. I don't believe there's any abrasives or purpose, um, purposely injected abrasives in the formula. I could be wrong. We're going to test that today. And what I mean by that, um, let's take Meguiar's Finishing Wax, for example. Uh, there were no intended abrasives in the solution. However, there's a clay in there to control moisture, and that gives it um, some unintended abrasiveness. But you can really polish anything uh, with any liquid. You can polish and correct with water. Um, so the pad does the work. The solution, the liquid as we call it, gives it uh, some more effectiveness and speeds up the process. But yeah, you can correct with just about anything as long as it's uh, a fluid or a liquid and it gives a little bit of lubrication. So let's get on with the uh, showcase here. Um, you know, we're going to take a look at the product application. It does claim to give incredible beading and longevity uh, when it comes to protection. We'll test that as well. And we'll also put it on the same panel and maybe we'll put it up against um, a turtle wax seal and shine, see how it performs. We're going to get some of the rapid shine underneath the microscope here, take a look at it up close, see if we can find any abrasives whatsoever. As we have a sample on the card here, and we take a look closer uh, microscopically, I'm not picking up any intentional uh, abrasives. There could be unintentional abrasives, depending on what they use to um, control moisture, but pretty much polymer and could be carnauba. They really don't tell us exactly what's in it, but I don't see any hint of abrasive. We'll give a little demonstration on the supercharged Z here, and we have the carbon fiber top, that's where you'll be able to see the best. So that's where we'll show application and removal right here in this area. You could spray right onto the surface itself. It does say you could use in direct sunlight. Massage into the paint, flip over, and buff to perfection that way. You can also spray onto the surface. Massage it in with a microfiber applicator. Buff it with a clean, new, dry microfiber. And it can also be used as a drying aid. I've tried it that way as well. As soon as the car is washed, while it's still wet, spray a nice, even mist, uh, one section at a time from top to bottom, and use your drying towel. No streaks. So it does leave a decent shine behind, but let's take a closer look. Let's see how it resists water. Um, let's see if it has any chemical resistance whatsoever. And let's put it up against another similar product and see how it fares. Well, hey, it says spray polish. So let's see what it can do. As you can see here, uh, sand marks. Wet sanding marks, 3,000 grit. And we're going we're to work this little test area inside the masking tape. Let's see what it can do. Right here is the Eurofiber 5050 pad attached to the polisher. I'm going to put two spritzes onto the test area right there, and we'll see what we can correct. I also primed the pad with the product as well.
I'm gonna bring you guys in first. So I was able to work it uh, about two or three passes before it started to flash. And uh, did it make a difference? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm not sure if it's intentional or not, but this is what you can do with a Eurofiber pad, the 50-50 pad, and the new finish spray, whatever it is. Hmm. All right. Well, hey guys, since we already have the new finish in that area, we might as well take advantage of this clean spot. I masked off an area right next to it. Let's put the turtle wax seal and shine in this area, and uh, we'll compare beading, we'll compare gloss, we'll, we'll compare um, durability of protection. Let's have some fun. Let's get the seal and shine in its uh, test area. Yet another user-friendly product that uh, is available at a great price just about anywhere. First off, just a note, both products make the area, their, um, their own test area, look dark, darker, richer, there is a distinct outline for both of these products. Definitely an improvement over gloss. Which one gives you better gloss? Well, let's find out. Average of 88. and an average of 91. So the new finish gives uh, better gloss right off the bat. Again, it's best to let these cure for a few hours. As with any product, the gloss, um, uh, the curing, it all gets better within time. All right, when it comes to uh, repelling water, beading, let's take a look. Well, we've already taken a look at the seal and shine. I can tell you firsthand the new finish is just as impressive in person. We already know what the seal and shine can withstand. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, take, check out the sealant madness video where we put it up against an SiO2 and a titanium-based sealant, uh, it did very well. Let's see what type of chemical resistance this has. We're gonna start off with the brines, sodium and magnesium chloride. This is brine when mixed with water. This is what's in the tankers in the back of the trucks that pre-treat the road here, where I am anyways, in the Northeast. Uh, a very strong chemical. If you're working on a car that has driven through brine and you don't have nitrile gloves, your hands will be on fire. It will be burning, especially if you have any uh, injury scratches or dry cracks in your hands. So let's spray this. We'll give it a few minutes. We'll rinse and we'll take a look. Okay, so after the brine treatment, still plenty of protection there. We'll move on.
Next up is a chemical that uh, is closely related to those pre-treats when you go in a, the beginning of a car wash tunnel or the pre-treat for removing traffic film. And we'll let that sit there. You can see the outline. Okay, so that seemed to do it in. Uh, it's not going to be as durable, but you can do a little bit more with the new finish. Probably last maybe a month or so at most, where the seal and shine would last somewhere around three months. But there you have it. For the final thought segment of the video, the new finish, Rapid Shine. I don't know if it was meant to be a spray polish or a spray wax, but I showed you what it can do, what it's capable of. For $7 and change, being able to pick it up at your local Walmart, parts store, um, hardware store, grab some. Give it a shot. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.